I'm getting ready to do some lead test swabs. Um, so this house came with the disclosure that it was built before they knew lead paint was bad. Um, apparently that was a surprise to them, but uh, <laughs> so we are testing all the areas where I might be sanding or painting over just to be aware of um, the paint that's present now. So especially because I'm nursing, I wanna be really careful about my exposure. So um, I got this kit on Amazon. It had mixed reviews. Um, some said you couldn't really like read the results. So it was pretty cheap. Um, and I have a ton of places to test, which is why I wanted to get this kit because it has a ton of swabs. So um, it says to wet the swabs um, and shake off the excess liquid and then rub the site for 30 seconds and observe the tip color change. I'm gonna refer to the label. So we're gonna give this a shot. So here we go. Okay, so I got this swab wet and one of the places I wanted to check was this window because I think I might wanna strip it. Um, so the swab is wet and I'm rubbing for 30 seconds. Just trying to get really good coverage. Some of the spots, some of the reviews said like, it didn't take a full 30 seconds. It was clearly like, oh, not even showing you. Uh, it was clearly like lead based paint, like right away it turned bright red. So I think the fact that it still looks pretty yellow means we're probably good. Um, this one room looks like an addition. Everything kind of feels a little newer in this room. So I'm not gonna assume all of the windows are lead free. I think that's about 30, oh, yeah. The timeline says it's more 30 seconds. So and then I can test it against the strip. So if it's this color, there is lead detected. If it's this color, there's no lead detected. And I'm gonna call it no lead detected. So we're gonna do that now all over the house and see if we find any lead. Okay, so I'm continuing to test and I'm now testing the closet door jam in Henry's room. And this spot that I swabbed, sorry, the lighting's kinda weird. Um, it turned red like where I was swabbing it and I was like, oh, I bet it's positive. But what's weird is the swab right now looks yellow, so I'm gonna let it sit and see. But I think it's the same paint because the texture feels the same. I think it's the same paint as what's on the window frame. So right here, I guess that does have a little bit of reddish tint too. That's the one that I was like, oh, this is for sure negative, but it's kind of pinkish. And then right here is where I tested before that I was showing you and that's pretty pink. So, I don't know, this is confusing. Okay, so this is that same swab that you just saw me do on that windowsill. So I did another swab and set this one down and came back to the kitchen to do another swab. And now I kind of wonder if maybe there is some lead in there because that looks quite a bit darker where it collected and i did another windowsill and it's also pretty red right at that spot so the door jam which was clearly like newer paint it's obviously not it's the no lead detected so i think the windowsills are so i'm gonna have to be careful about the windowsills Okay, so it does say rub for 30 seconds, then observe the swab tip for color changes. And red, pink swab indicates the presence of lead. So this one here is the one that I did the door jam that I said, ah, maybe I think it looks okay. These are the two window sills. This is the one I just did on the closet. And I'm going to come back to it, but it looks like right there it's already starting to turn pink. This one still looks pretty yellow. Maybe a little bit. And then I also kind of wonder, there were smokers in this house before. So I wonder if this one is lead from the cigarette smoke, not actually in the paint. I don't know. Okay, so I did a test swab on like a... um. A control swab and this is on the brand new no voc super expensive paint that i just bought 
so I could see the difference. So there's still some pink on it, but it's still pretty yellow. This is that door jam, or no, this is what I just did. This is the closet door jam, and this is the um, room door jam. And they're both like just a touch pink, but not the whole thing, and I was covering the swabs. So it makes me think that maybe it's not lead. It's just, cause this is like really clearly, obviously, like it looks so different. It looks so different. So then this one I just did on the wall in that room. And I just like, I really like scrubbed at it to get the paint off um, onto the swab. And it's been sitting here a little while and it's still yellow. So I think the, the wall itself is fine. I think the room door jam is fine and the closet door jam is fine, but the window frames for sure have lead paint. So I'm gonna have to look into how to strip those and refinish those as another project. Little jump forward here, finished Henry's room, at least the painting part of it. Ceiling's painted, the trim is painted, the walls are painted. That paneling looks so much better in this color. This room feels so much brighter and bigger. I'm so excited, we're making progress. And check out this flooring that arrived. Holy cow, I did not realize it would be this much or this heavy. And so yeah, we've got all our flooring. This is so much flooring, oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about this project. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you found this lead tutorial, lead testing tutorial helpful.